Well, what a horrible sticky mess. Uh, welcome back, my uh, gardening friends. Well, at least that job is out of the way. Uh, as you can see, uh, four years ago, possibly three, uh, four years ago for the main leaf mould, that's when we were deciding to do it every 12 months. But then when we changed it to keeping it for two years, which we've just put through the trommel, I built this extra bay. As you can see, I've used bricks and uh, you can see what happens to the wood. I'm trying to improve that because the wood was too close to the surface. Here's a couple of pieces of wood that were in this corner. Uh, that piece was at the uh, top, that piece was at the bottom. So you can see the difference it makes. And this pallet, I thought I might have to change it, but because it was lined, uh, it's uh, held up uh, really well. And we'll see how many new ones we've got and uh, we can try and salvage what we can as soon as we get uh, this sorted. Uh, it's uh, Remembrance Day today, so you may hear a few things in the background. We fell silent at uh, 11 o'clock. And here are some of the screws that I've just taken out. Some have got bent because I did tug and pull, but uh, as you can see, that's why I use decking screws. Uh, they uh, do keep really well, especially even in uh, the uh, damp wood. Uh, that screw on the end was taken out of there. I couldn't get to it, but when I pulled it out, uh, you can see it's still in good fettle. So we've got plenty of uh, pallets there and uh, we can uh, start to do something in this corner to make it a little bit better and maybe put screws underneath the pallets to keep them off the ground so they don't rot similar to my raised beds uh, it's forecast really heavy rain uh, on tuesday so uh, i need to get my fire burnt all the rubbish for the fire and i needed to get this done because it was it, you could see earlier i was having to break everything up so let's uh, strip all this down so you can have a good look at uh, what we've got left there's definitely uh, less sticks uh, than last year and of course then you get all the litter debris and a few stones and rocks. Uh, all this material, bar from the litter and the rocks, will go into the bottom of some of the new pallet collar uh, beds. And this uh, will also go into the bottom of some of the beds, maybe not all. But there's more this year, uh, I could try and put it through again, but uh, with the weather as it is, and as you can see, uh, it ends up in the trommel going round and round and round and all it is is uh, basically leaf mould uh, similar to the old dung beetles rolling it along but uh, excellent material to add to the beds uh, the sticks etc they'll all break down give the worms uh, something to play with uh, over the, uh, the winter months and as we've mentioned before the uh, quality leaf mould comes out the front and then we get uh, the leaf mould that's been in there uh, a little bit longer and uh, it breaks up. It was very compacted but considering in that bay there was uh, 19 bags, two year old leaf mould and I mean bags is in the builder's bag so there was 19 and uh, in there we've got 25 bags that we collected in uh, 2021 we've only managed to collect two up to yet it's been far too wet and i've been trying to get uh, little jobs done especially if i can get half an hour before it gets too dark in the evenings so i'm going to get this over into the the bay leaf mold bay and I don't know how I'm going to get it all in. Considering what's there, what's already in the bin, and how big that bay was, it's surprising. Once it's all fluffed up, it does cover quite a, a large area. If I put all that back into that bin, it would have uh, half filled it. Uh, cracking material, well worth the effort. It's about a thousand metre round trip on the wheelbarrow. Good for the body. <laughs> and good for the mind well that's all that sorted uh, give it a good uh, swill out just helps uh, make it uh, look clean because when we do get the winter weather uh, at least most of the uh, leaf mold and the rubbish is out of it now and I have uh, 
four tubs uh, in the uh, polytunnel and uh, my leaf mold bin is uh, full it's not as big as a full pallet uh, there's probably a little bit more in there this time because we didn't use the last 200 litres that we, we were going to put on the uh, uh, asparagus on top of the manure once uh, it had died back off but this year everything seems to be lasting that a bit longer there will be a playlist at the end for my uh, trommel from when we built it out of all the recycled materials to the petrol mower then to the mobility scooter axle and it uh, worked really well uh, please thumbs up thumbs down for the interaction i would really appreciate that and uh, consider subscribing and of always please leave me a comment the comments are where you will learn how do you think i know what i know or well, don't know happy gardening to you all till next time my friends to half an hour.